Hey guys, so <laughs> another uh, message for the Major Collective. I was prepping my decks to do the weeklies, and yet I got this set of three that came out together with a lot of force, and then the second I looked at them, the energy was so intense, and I heard the words deep love. <clears throat> so there's something crazy going on here. This could even be just for my twinsies, but I feel like it's more so for the Major Collective. So I just wanted to show you the three cards that came out, and then um, we'll we'll go ahead and do this, okay? So let me pause and get this camera right. Give me a second. Hey guys! So I'm also wearing my hoodie because my hair is not done yet. <laughs> Wasn't planning on doing a reading yet. So, <clears throat> so you saw that the three cards, I'll hold them up together. I cannot believe this, guys. I don't know why this happens to me. And I realize maybe I should actually start recording just like any time I'm prepping my decks, which is just before I start all my readings anyway. Because um, this is the second time this has happened, okay? So these are the three cards we have. We have the Ace of Wands with the Empress with the King of Cups. Um... There's a lot of Scorpio energy here and a Libra energy. It could be a Scorpio Libra Cusper. You could be dealing with Scorpio Libra Cusper. Also Taurus and fire. Very intense fire energy, but that feels more so um, not necessarily attached to a person's chart. I mean, that really just feels like pure energy that <laughs> is really being thrown at somebody. It's a little crazy, guys. So... Like I said, this I feel like it's Twin Flame energy. I just got to be honest from the way the cards came out and the way that it feels. But I really feel like it's going to apply to more than just my Twin Flames, okay? So please, like, hang out because this could resonate with you. So the overall energy for these cards, that came, the cards came out and then I just, like, put the deck aside and then flipped it over and saw that this was the, the card on the bottom, okay? Just letting you guys know that that's how these cards came out. Um, this is like someone making a quiet getaway away from a, but from a really bad situation but these cards feel really amazing so to me that says someone's making a quiet getaway out of a bad situation to head towards this okay so if you guys are resonating as the empress someone is is seriously someone is leaving a situation um to find peace and to get all of this goodness with you okay if you're taking on empress energy um this could also be vice versa um this could also be vice versa. For my twin flames, obviously, you're, you know, I have a lot of divine feminines watching me over divine masculines. I have divine masculines, too, who watch me, but more so divine feminines. So for those who resonate with the twin flame journey, the divine feminine is the one who's sitting pretty while the divine masculine is coming their way. Okay, I could definitely feel that super so God, super strong. Um, but like I said, could also apply to, to soulmates or um, anyone in relationships where this is going to be resonating. So there's definitely a big separation that's happened between you and this individual. Uh, yeah, a very big separation. And so it, I got to be honest, because it seems like someone's leaving a bad situation here. Bad situation to me is like a toxic family or toxic relationships. Something toxic. They're leaving something toxic. I really feel like it's just another relationship, to be honest with you. So maybe someone came between you and now they're trying to come your, your way. And I got to say, guys, I mean, this is like, oh my God, this is really intense. Um... <clears throat> excuse me this ace of wands the one that's come up on your in your reading this is the other side this is like this is just like the typical ace of wands except it's even faster it comes in even quicker it comes in more passionately it really really shake things shakes things up but it's something to be grasped okay that's why the lightning strike is here that's that's indicative of how much energy is behind this card okay and, and i feel it guys i really feel it i almost feel like someone's gonna come in like, very big romantic gesture, even, because the King of Cups is here. That, to me, just reeks of romance and, and marriage and commitment and all that stuff. Um, someone's going to come in really quick to make an offer of some kind. Uh, it could just be, like, an, I don't know I'm getting adventure. Adventure? Um, they might even say that. Like, I don't know. There's something about adventures. Like, I think you and this person talked about, a lot about traveling or a lot, a lot about having quote-unquote adventures like that was a key word that you guys used a lot okay trying to give you guys uh more um information for to see if this will resonate with you okay um yeah adventure i keep getting adventure you probably had a lot of adventure again i, I keep using adventures because i feel like this is a word that you two use to enter to um communicate a lot okay adventure I just keep getting adventure and they're it's almost like they're gonna come in and say do you want another adventure it's it's almost something like that they're they're this person's very charismatic they might be an air sign there's not a lot of air energy. No, there is a lot of air energy here. Both of these cards are are air, are air and water um, and earth. But more so, I'm sensing a lot of uh, water, though. 
I think that's just because there's so much emotion in this in this reading. There's a lot of emotion between the two of you. And this person's going to come in very emotional, and I get the sense that they probably weren't in the past. They were probably very, um, not reserved. I, I get the feeling they were very chatty. I just, I think they just didn't share a whole lot about how they feel. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, you could have been dealing with an air sign. There's an air sign involved in this for sure. Um, for sure. But this connection, guys, this connection runs deep. I feel it. It runs so deep. Uh, it, there's also a lot of uh, sexual energy here as well that I'm sensing. A lot of sexual energy. And someone really wants to commit. They want to get stuff going and started. They want to take action with you. <clears throat> And again, I keep getting the sense of adventure. Like, I, I don't know if you guys are going to be traveling a lot once they come in to make an offer. Maybe that's part of the offer. But also, they they really, 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 really love you. They have a lot of love for you. I think more so than they even realized. And I don't know if it took the separation for them to realize it, but maybe so. Um, they have so much fucking emotion for you. This is crazy. But they want a commitment. They want They want the real deal. They want the real deal is what I keep getting. They want the real deal. And with the star above the head of the empress, that tells me that a wish is being granted. A wish is being granted and there's really intense Venus influence here. Um, yeah, really intense Venus influence here. I don't know I'm getting Venus and Scorpio because I the Venus and Scorpio card is not here, but I'm getting Venus Scorpio. So that's going to apply to some of you. Mm. God, this is intense. All right, so I want to clarify some of these cards because I know you guys want me to clarify some of these cards. Uh, let's clarify this ace. Very curious about this ace. Oh, my God. By the way, please be very careful about pregnancy. Preg this is all pregnancy vibration. The Empress is about pregnancy, but when it's paired with the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Cups... Get, get ready for pregnancy. Honest to God, get ready for pregnancy. Please take the proper precautions if you do not want to be pregnant, okay? Because this is an empress about to get pregnant with this energy, for sure. So please be mindful of that, okay? Clarify Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Clarify Ace of Wands. Clarify Ace of Wands. Clarify Ace of Wands. There's also like um, an older feel to this King of Cups energy, whoever's taking this on. I feel like this is, for my twins, this is a divine masculine who's taking this on. Um, there's something that feels older about them, whether they're an old soul or just significantly older than you. There's something about them that feels older, whether it's age or their souls or spirituality uh, compared to the other person, the Empress energy. Clarify Ace of Wands. We have a couple cards out, but they're face down, so I can't see them yet. Clarify Ace of Wands. Clarify Ace of Wands. Clarify Ace of Wands. Okay. Ha! <laughs> wow. Whoa. We have two major arcana on the board now to clarify the Ace of Wands. So overall energy, Ace of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Ace of Wands in reverse. Oh, goodness. Um, so there is a delay here that's been holding this up. And I think it's it's uh, clarified with the, I think it's, a, uh, I think the answer for that is in the clarifiers. We have death, which is Scorpio energy again, and then Aquarius energy. And like I said, I did sense a lot of air energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? And we also have the other Scorpio card. Um, those two energies, by the way, Aquarius and, and Scorpio, regardless of the signs, like, let's say this resonates with you, but you're kind of like, I'm... Scorpio and Aquarius that doesn't apply to me or my person don't let that deter you because I feel like this is the energy being harnessed as well um it doesn't necessarily have to be the sign Scorpio energy with Aquarius energy that is like all about basically making destiny come to fruition like if you really think about it so Scorpio energy is all about karmic justice transformation death rebirth change um underworld energies right and then we have aquarius energy which is about dreams uh wishing hope 
um, manifestation, right? So it's two very manifesting like energies, but one is very light and one is very dark. That's all about bringing fruition, manifestations and destiny. You need the light and the dark for that. But not to mention both are about fruition and manifestation at the end of the day. Um, and these are major arcanas all around this new beginning. So there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's crazy energy here. There's crazy energy here. Oh God, they just, this is more than just a soul contract. This is more than just a soul contract. And I think you, up, up in this reading, whoever these two energies are, if you're resonating with it, both of you know, both of you know, this is more than just like a, yeah, I dated them for like six months. Like it's more than that. It's so much more than that. You're meant to change each other's lives. You're meant to change each other's lives, not in a small way. But with the death and the star card, there's a lot of healing that has to take place before this, this new beginning can really get up and going. I'm also sensing a little bit of an ego death. Like, like almost like someone's been trying to have an ego death. But it's been really difficult. It's been really difficult. That's why the star card is in reverse. There's like, there's a lack of um, optimism with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> but that's what's holding this up. Because there's a need for healing. Um, and death energy is still at play, which tells me that there's still a lot of change to be had and still a lot of change to be experienced, which is why this ace is has an overall energy of another ace, but in delay. So it's something that when it's ready, it'll come in quick and hard and fast. Um, very, very passionate. Like it's going to get it's going to it's you're going to get your blood pumping. You know what I mean? It's going to get your blood pumping. And yeah, there's a lot of sex energy here for sure. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of sex energy. Um, but before that is to take place there's still some change and i feel like it's on the part of whoever has the more air energy whoever's the more fantastical one whoever's the one who's a little bit um not as grounded in reality is the best way to put that because we definitely have a dreamer and a doer here <laughs> like someone who almost practically lives in the 5d and the other person who practically just lives solely in the 3d it's very interesting um Yeah, it's very interesting. It's like someone is constantly thinking practically, rationally, um, understanding the limitations of the 3D realm, but they have an aspiration for the 5D and spirituality, while the other person is the exact opposite, where the, they understand the 5D to an, a, an intense like detail level um, of understanding the 5D and only wanting to spend a lot of time there, but they don't really grasp... Um, the 3D all that much, but they are obsessed with like with money and the tangible things in that regard in the 3D. But it's only because they keep wishing and dreaming bigger. You know, understand, you understand what I'm saying? I know I'm talking a lot, guys. Um, yeah, because they just they wish and dream so big. It's like they're always in the head in the clouds, always the head in the clouds. Um, but a very great understanding of the 5D, but they just kind of live fantastically in the 3d which is not sustainable <laughs> that's the best way to put that wow intense okay let's take a look at this empress and see what's going on with her <clears throat> clarify the empress or him i mean it's feminine energy so it could be a, a, a man as well uh if you're a divine feminine you don't have to be a female to be a divine feminine um and again it doesn't have to apply to twins either i'm just talking to my twins and everyone else too at the same time <laughs> clarify the empress Clarify the Empress. 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 God, all these cards are even the same color. They're that same dark like royal blue which is really nice color but that's all oh my god i just sense love all day long clarify empress clarify the empress Let's see what we got here wow <laughs> wow overall energy ten of wands tired man 
fucking tired. Um, so empresses, my empresses, I know. I'm trying, <laughs> I have like one of those microfiber towels, like trying to dry my hair because when my hair gets wet, it just like stays wet forever. Um, that's probably why it takes so long for my hair to get done. Anyway, um, so stress, stress and fatigue. I mean, this empress has been worked worked and she's tired as shit but when the empress is here in this position specifically it's about good fortune so when this ace of wands comes to pass there's going to be good fortune as well uh coming after that it's like it's also granting wishes she's kind of like um in this particular deck in the vice versa deck this particular side of the empress is also about making wishes come true also a manifester right um it's pretty much anything you've been desiring and wishing for will be granted and there will be good fortune around that. Whether it's health, um, if you've been wanting better health, that'll come. If you want, you know, love, that'll come too. Um, basically, fertility and bringing things to fruition. That's also why she's the pregnancy vibration. So the card attached to her is faith in this deck. This is the legacy deck. It's basically the Hierophant, right? So... Yeah, this is somebody who is, uh, wow, throwing themselves into spirituality. And it's because they're tired. It's because they're overburdened. They're overworked. Throwing themselves into their spirituality, hands down, all day long. Um, this is a, someone who's also wanting commitment, trying to trying to manifest commitment, which it, I, is happening. I mean, Hierophants with Ace of Wands, with the Empress, with the King of Cups, that's that is also commitment too. You know what I'm saying? Um, but more so, it's just talking to their guides. Talking to their guides a lot, praying a lot, um, meditating a lot, being very introspective. Being very introspective. But standing in their power. Very much standing in their power. And ha being happy. They're tired, but they're happy. They're happy with, with how things are. It's just, they're tired of being tired. Um, whether it's just been... You know, the time of year, you know, holiday season, work. I got to be honest, for some for some of my uh, people who are resonating with this Empress energy, you're tired from this connection. You're tired from the from this bond. Some of you have such a spiritual bond. That's also why the Hierophant is here, indicating a spiritual connection. And you're just tired from it. You're tired of sensing them all the time. You're tired of if you have a. Uh, some of you, there's like there's some telepathy here, getting really sick and tired of having to hear them talk to you or like under or knowing what's going on with them. Because you're in separation. That that's without a doubt, because they're they're trying to make a quick getaway out of their situation to come towards you. <clears throat> For sure. For sure. And because they're coming towards you, you're probably sensing them a lot more as well, which is just making you even more tired even more tired because you're connected in the spiritual realm whether you want to be or not you two are connected and you probably dream about each other a lot or spend time with each other in dreams or the dream realm all right yeah moving on to the king of cups energy let's see what's going on with the king Ay. <clears throat> clarify king of cups clarify king of cups I mean, I think it's really more so the King of Cups energy, whoever's taking on that energy, who's going through this this major change. Because this Empress energy, you guys are just tired. Oh, you guys just need a break. Clarify King of Cups. Clarify King of Cups. And you're trying to rest. You're trying to. But for those of you where you have a spiritual connection with this person to the point where you do have telepathic abilities or you're visiting each other a lot in uh, the, the dream realm or astraling to each other, it's it's draining you even more. That is what's draining you. And it's just getting more intense because they're getting closer to you. Clarify King of Cups. If you're not in feeling the intensity increase yet, you're going to. I feel like you go you're going to. The second they're done with their healing, you're going to feel it. <clears throat> Clarify King of Cups. 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 A lot of Taurus energy here as well, guys. Just letting you know. For signs, I see Scorpio twice, Taurus twice, and I see Libra and Aquarius twice. 
All right, clarify King of Cups. I mean, that, like, all of the, those energies, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus, with that Taurus energy, that's like, Taurus, Tauruses like to nest. They like to um, settle down. They like to, like, build a really strong foundation to home life and make sure that that's taken care of. They, they like, they like that. They like that. That's how Tauruses are, and they're hard workers at it. And then Libra with the Scorpio energy. Oh, my God. That's intense. That's intense sexual love. That's intense, um... Commitment as well. A lot of intense commitment and, and sexual love right there. And then Aquarius is, is also manifesting. Manifesting love. Okay. Alright, let's look into this king. Clarify the king of cups. Clarify king of cups. Oh, got a peeker. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Clarify King of Cups. Wow. Oh, geez. Leave a lot of cards. Huh. All right. I'll be straight up with you. <clears throat> Most of you, this King of Cups has lied to you in the past about not wanting to be committed. I, I just I was pulling the cards and I got that message come it came in super strong they've lied to you before about wanting about not wanting to be committed they were and I think it's because they're lying to themselves honestly but because they're lying to themselves they also lie to you so overall energy for the king of cups nine of wands my fighting card ready ready I keep getting ready ready they're ready they're ready to fight they're ready to put in the work we have the two cards that came out first. We have the Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. Yeah, they've been resting. They've been resting too. I mean, they haven't been letting you rest, huh, Empress? <laughs> no, no, no. Nuh uh, not you. You don't get a rest. <laughs> Jesus. They've been resting though. Um, they've also been uh, contemplating a lot. I feel like a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking, almost overthinking. Yeah, this is air energy. I think they definitely have are dealing with an air sign or they have strong air in their chart. And I feel like it's probably going to be Aquarius or Libra. Those two energies as opposed to Gemini. I don't really see Gemini too much here. Uh, yeah, Libra, strong Libra and Aquarius energy. Um, they've been thinking about what they've invested so far and what they want to invest moving forward. And they're feeling really good about it. They're feeling really happy about um, the conclusions they've come to. I don't know I'm getting that. Conclusions they've come to. Mistakes. Mistakes. The conclusions they made about their own mistakes. And how much of a better investment you would be. That This is just messages I'm getting. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting off of that. And then we have the next line. Page of, oh, <laughs> page of Swords in Reverse. Chariot in Reverse. Cancerian Energy. And then Eight of Pentacles. These are the lies that they've told you. Okay? That they don't want to work on commitment. They don't, they want to be non-committed. They, like, they want to, I'm getting, like, Rogue Wolf. I don't know I'm getting that. Rogue Wolf, Lone Wolf. Um, I like flying solo. That's what this person's told you in the past. I like flying solo. I don't collaborate with people in a romantic sense. I don't do that. Um, also about, like, the work that they've put in. I've, I've put in a lot of work. No, they haven't. <laughs> this place is in reverse. No, they have not. They, they have not. Um, this person was very juvenile in their communication in the past. This is all past energy. This is like... Uh, <laughs> spirits telling on their ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, they... Yeah. These are just big, fat lies. They never... In the beginning, they didn't want to work on shit. They didn't want to be committed to anybody. They just kind of... I'll be honest. They just wanted... They were very self-serving. They wanted what they wanted and when they wanted it. And... That was weird. I thought I saw something. I don't know. I'll look back at this later. It's like something caught my eye. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, did, they didn't want to work on shit. And that's changed. That's definitely changed. Um, and that's because they're changing. 
like massive change guys this is intense massive change it also feels somewhat divinely orchestrated as well for them to go through this change i mean you know will their free will pushes them through it but it was set up for them to go through it like we'll set this shit up for you but you gotta actually put in the work and finish it yourself is what i'm getting yeah it's gonna be up to them to get out of it and then if they do they're gonna basically come your way and sneak out of another situation just be just be mindful though um whatever situation they're sneaking out of because i do feel like they're sneaking okay which tells me that you know the growth is not done so please be aware of that but then we have the ace of swords truth truth i don't know why i said it that way <laughs> i don't know why it came out of, out of me that way it feels big it almost feels like a bomb like a bomb of truth it's going to be a lot of information. Let's look at this. Uh, I'll use the Gilda Tarot deck. A bomb of truth is coming. With, with them comes a bomb of truth. Ugh. Right, that is the swords. I'm kind of... I, I just got the chills, guys. I'm a little nervous to look into this. Clarify Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Ugh. Be so careful about pregnancy. I keep the eight, the ace is jumping off at me with the empress. Please be so careful. I mean, like I said, this person clearly is going through a lot of growth and has a lot of growth to do. And I just, you know, it's someone you've been separated from. I don't know. Not the greatest situation for, an, you know, a pregnancy. Just saying. Because we don't know where this is going, right? Clarify Ace of Swords. I mean, so far it just seems like they're going to come back and they're going to try to win you over again. They're going to lay down some truth on you. Um, you're going to feel the intensity. You're going to feel the excitement. And you're going to want to go for it. But you're you're so tired up until this point. Em Empress. You're, you're, I'm just calling you Empress because you're coming in as the Empress. Um, you're so tired up until this point. It's, it's I can feel it. It's a lot of fatigue. Clarify Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Now, if you want to be pregnant, congratulations. <laughs> For those who want to be pregnant, clarify Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Oh, jeez. All right. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, guys. Uh, this bomb is going to be a little painful, I think, to be honest with you. The, this truth bomb. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> So I'm pulling two cards for the overall energy because they're definitely connected. Uh, Ace of Cups is the overall energy for this Ace of Swords that the King is bringing you. They're going to bring you truth. Like I said, big truth. And with it is an offer of love. And oh, I know Ace of Pentacles. Three. You have four aces. You have four aces. You have all four aces here. What did I say? Manifestation, right? Manifestation all day. That Aquarius energy. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I think they're also going to give you a gift. They might also give you a gift. Um, <laughs> they're going to pass it off as a Christmas gift. I also just got birthday. I don't know if some of you guys are having a birthday. I know some of these signs are not exactly, like, we're not in those time periods for birthdays. Like Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. Still sensing those, like, only those signs. Um, birthday. So, yeah, a couple of you, this is birthday. Like I said, these are like the sign energies. It doesn't mean that it is their sign. So some of you have maybe have a birthday coming up. They might try to pass it off as that. It's not what it is. It's basically a, a forgive me present. Uh, like a pass, like a, like a, what's that word? Pacify? Is that the word I'm thinking of? Like to kind of gloss over everything that's happened. Like, please be distracted with this pretty gift and this cup of love and the truth that I'm about to tell you and the passionate sex I want to have with you. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I'm just cracking myself up. So we have a lot of cards that come, came out to clarify. Um, I'll just show them all to you at once because there's a lot, and then I'll tell you what I think is going on. Hangman, Piscean energy. Fool in reverse. Three of swords. Two of wands. 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Star card again, but um, in, in reverse as well, Aquarius energy. And then Ten of Wands. Yeah, healing, man. A lot of healing. Let me just say, I'm going to start, I'm going to go a different um, direction. I was going to start this way. I'm being told to start this way. Ten of Wands, burdens. These two definitely go together. Burdens. The heal, this healing stage is so hard for me, is what they're saying that for the king. The healing I'm trying to do is so hard and so stressful. Keep in mind that, um, Empress, you have the Ten of Wands as well. That's why you're also feeling exhausted. There is some mirroring going on. Um, for those who have that spiritual connection, there is mirroring going on. That's why you feel overburdened and exhausted as well. You're feeling their healing process as well as all the other shit they're probably telling you telepathically. Um, but you're feeling their healing process, which is just dragging you guys down. Yeah, this feels very twin flame. Very much twin flame. And then these two definitely go together. Two of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, this is my divorce card. Uh, it doesn't have to be unless they were married. There is also the Hierophon here. So yeah, if uh, if if the King of Cups is married, they're, they're getting a divorce. Or if they were going through separation, it's almost finalized, okay? Um, which is allowing them to look at their the next pathway. It's almost like a breaking apart, a falling apart, is allowing them to move forward in a crossroads situation of, okay, now which way do I go now? I can go left, I can go left to my empress, or I can go right and see what happens there. Um, but I feel like it's it's releasing them of shackles. It's like, some of them it's not even just a, a separation or a divorce. Others of them it's actual financial loss. But in a way it's freeing them. Which is so interesting. And I mean, we all know that, you know, true happiness doesn't come from money. We all know that. Um, but, you know, sometimes when you lose a lot of money or you lose a lot of material possessions, there is a sense of freedom with that. Because material possessions and money can be a hindrance. The more you have, you know, the less happy people tend to be. And that's just the truth. I mean, they've done studies on that. So they've, they're... They're going through a loss of some kind. Um, again, some of them are divorcing, getting a separation, and that's freeing them to move towards you. Now, I don't like this. Because I'll be honest, this is the truth that they're going to come forward with. I mean, they're going to tell you about all this, too, and how hard it's been for them to heal. But they're also going to tell you this, that I've been MIA. I've been really stuck. Um, I've been very stagnant, but I've had a revelation, and that revelation is going to push them towards you as well. Um, this is just like them talking about it. So it's like, that's why this is coming in this way that they've been stuck for so long up until the point that they have come are coming towards you. Talking to empresses. Um, I know King of Cups are also watching me too. I know you're there watching me guys. I know it. I can feel it. <laughs> anyway, uh, full in reverse with the three of swords. There's a couple of things that they're going to tell you. They're going to say that, uh, you know, I acted foolishly and I know I, you know, I know I hurt you, but I'm also hurt too. And I know there's a lot of heartache here because of my foolish behavior. That's one thing they're going to say. Others of, others of them are going to confess to this third party situation. Like I said, they're leaving a situation, right? Um, but so this is interesting. Regarding that third party, Empresses, I think a lot of you knew, but the King of Cups didn't think you knew, if that makes any sense, for most of you. Some of you, they know you know. Um, and the more telepathic you guys become because they're coming closer, the more that truth is going to be revealed to them as well, that you know, you know about that person. Um, but for the most part, they're going to come in thinking you don't know about it. And they're going to tell you about it. Handle that however you want. <laughs> your life, your business, not mine. Um but yeah, that's the other message I'm I'm getting off of this. But I got to be honest, guys, because the Three of Swords is coming in so strong and I really feel it, whatever they say, it's going to it's going to almost open up those open up those old wounds for you, empresses. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt and you're not going to expect it to. It's going to catch you off guard. God, I'm feeling the emotion, um, and I'm getting the chills, too. Um, yeah, it's going to hurt. As far as taking this person back, I really can't say one way or the other. I really can't say one way or the other. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be different. It's going to be different answers for everybody. Um, so let's take some Romance Angel cards and see what's going on there. All right. 
any messages for the major collective regarding this spread <laughs> this random spread that spirit gave me <laughs> i think i will start recording uh anytime i, I prep the decks because it takes a little while because i have to do each deck and i have a few um but when this shit happens, it's like, God, that'd be so, it's so worth it. Because I really wish you guys could see it and I had caught it on camera. Because when they came out like that, I was like, oh, crap, I got to do a reading. Like, I just, I knew. that I just knew it instantly. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't have a recording. So any messages for the Major Collective regarding this spread? Any messages for the Major Collective regarding this spread? Any messages for the Major Collective regarding this spread? Any messages for the major collective? Oh, yeah, regarding this spread. Any advice for the major collective regarding this spread? Any messages for the major collective regarding this spread? Any messages for the major collective regarding this spread? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, that was not the card I expected for overall energy. And I was just like, oh, shit, shit just got real. <laughs> overall energy is wedding. <laughs> the situation involves marriage. And like I said, I def we had the Hierophant with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, I think, did come up twice. Um... So yeah, some of you are married or this person is leaving a marriage situation for you. Um, or, you know, could definitely be heading this way. I, like I said, there's intense love here. It's intense. It's intense. There's also pregnancy. There's the hair font. It's, it's intense shit, guys. It's really intense. So this, this could definitely be a future spouse for some of you. I feel that. But I also feel more so um, this person is leaving a marriage situation for a lot of you, okay? <laughs> Whew. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I was like, there it is! There's the marriage card! Alright, so the three cards that came out. Don't let these scare you. I'm just gonna show them to you all at once. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then past life relationship, you've known each other before. So I won't stay too long on past life relationship. You guys already know. And I already told you, this is a very spiritual connection. Soulmate connection. Some of you, it's even, it, it apply, can apply to twin flames as well, because I felt it. Of course, you guys know each other before. And I think you knew that the second you met. The second you met, again, if like to help, um, help this reading stand out to those that this is supposed to resonate with. When you two met initially it was an intense meeting and i mean intense like there was something that sparked in both of you where you just knew you couldn't take your eyes off of each other and i'm not talking just less guys it's like have you ever i'm sure you guys have had this happen where you just meet someone and you just know you're like this person is going to be a major force in my life or i know i've known this person before their energy is so familiar and you start talking and you guys just click like like no time has passed, even though you've just met them. You know what I mean? That kind of energy. So stay optimistic about your love life and unrequited love. So unrequited love, I think, is addressing a couple things. It's addressing um, the major lack of give and take in the past in this relationship. That's certainly one thing it's addressing. But this person's coming in and basically preaching their love to you. Uh, preaching their love, preaching their mistakes, preaching everything that they want to have with you. And I'll be honest, Empresses, I think because you're so exhausted from this connection, you're not going to be where they're at. And I'm just being perfectly honest. You're not going to be in the in the same headspace they are when they come in like that. It's going to catch you off guard and you're already tired. And I almost feel like you're going to say, like, um, let's back up a minute. <laughs> let's back up. Let's slow down. Let's think about this is kind of what I'm sensing. So I don't think... There's a lack of a love any like at all between the two of you. I just think that there's been such an imbalance of it up until this point, and then this person's gonna come in, and you're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and be like, "Wait a minute, you you left, like you were done, you were done with this, and now you want to come in and and fix this." It's like it's just gonna it's gonna be a bit of a pause. You're gonna want to hit the pause button to like to fully let this marinate is what I'm getting. Anyway, so just letting you guys know that. And then we have stay optimistic about your love life. 
Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. <laughs> Being tactful is the, the, the biggest thing I'm getting off of this card. Like I said, they're going to shock you. They're going to throw you off guard. Um, you can sense them coming, but I just think you're not going to be ready for the manner they come in and the things that they're going to say and the way they're going to say it. Um, but staying rooted in positivity and optimism and not letting things completely upset you right away. Because like I said, it's going to sting. Whatever it is they say, it's going to hurt more than you expect it to hurt. Stay optimistic, okay? Um, stay in that positive vibration. Because this this can this is going to work. This can really work out. I want to say for like 90, 90, 95% of you, this is going to be... Um, a rekindling, a reconnection, even if it starts off a little slow, even if one person's like coming in guns blazing, ready, 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 the other person's like, wait a second. <laughs> wait, let's think shit through before we just jump into excitement because there's a lot of heat and passion here. It's going to be really easy to get overly excited, okay? Stay optimistic. Um, this is also for the King of Cups more so than for, than for the Empress. King of Cups, have faith. Have faith and stay strong and stay very um, optimistic about this situation. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of love between the two of you. There is not a lack of love here whatsoever. But if you continue to stay away or continue to act out or don't finish, don't finish your own healing that you have to do here, your own transformation, it's not going to happen. By the way, staying positive is what's going to help you get through this transformation that you have to go through. And for some of you, it's still an ego death. Um... All right, so just stay positive. Wow, intense. So random reading. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> like I said, I was prepping the decks and these three just came out. Let me show them to you one last time so you could see these cards together. They're kind of amazing together because the color scheme is just almost identical. Isn't that crazy that these three came out at the same time? Yeah. Commitment, love, sex, pregnancy, and passion. And adventure. A lot of adventure. I, I'm getting a lot of traveling. I don't know why. I think you've traveled a lot together. You made plans to do that, whether it's it's planned, you know, happened or not. Because like I said, this person's running away from a different situation for sure. But they're doing it quietly, like almost in like the night. Like, oh God, please don't tell me they're like, they're sneaking out of their beds at night, leaving their person up in, <laughs> in bed alone and like have a little backpack or something. That's crazy. Um, some of them, it's going to be that dramatic. It's going to be a dramatic reunion. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be dramatic and there's going to be tears. Um, all right. So again, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will see you guys later and I'm going to start on the weeklies after I do my hair. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.